guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a Q&A, which is something that I haven't done before. So I'm very excited to see all your questions. And yeah, let's get into the video. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Malin and I do videos and vlogs about luxury fashion, handbags and shoes. So if that's something you like, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. So today I'm going to do a Q&A. You guys have asked me many questions, so I don't think that I'm going to answer them all, unfortunately, but I have picked the best ones and yeah, let's start. I told you guys to ask me both personal and luxury related questions. So this one is going to be both a personal and luxury related video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So I think I'm going to start with more personal questions so you guys will get to know me better personally. So let's start with the first question. The first question is where in Norway are you from? It is a very small town in northern Norway. Now I don't live there because the next question is where are you living? I'm living in a city called Trondheim, which is kind of in the middle of Norway. And yeah. And the next question is, how old are you? I'm 23 years old. My birthday is 7th of February 2000. And while we are talking about me, the next question is, tell us more about you. Where do you live? What job do you have? Full-time influencer, tell us. Okay, so... As I said, I'm from Northern Norway. I'm 23 years old. I am actually a full-time content creator. I haven't told you guys, but in November last year, I quit my full-time job to become a full-time content creator. So this is my job. Um, I feel very blessed to do so. This has been my dream for the longest time. And in November, I finally got to do it. So that's what I do. Many of you guys have asked what I do for a living and such, and this is the answer. And also many of you guys have asked if I am a student. No, I'm not. So when I finished high school, I just started working right away because I was a little bit tired of school and learning. And I have always been good at school, but I was a little bit tired of it in some way. And I didn't know what I would like to work with. So therefore I didn't start studying right after high school. And I think that's one of the best choices I have ever done in my life is to not start studying right away because I know with myself that if I have started studying, I would never be in this place that I am now. So I'm very grateful for that. And yeah, and moving on to the next question, have you lived in a different country, would you consider moving to Paris or London? I like both London and Paris and I have never lived in a different country. I have only lived in two cities in Norway and I am happy with Norway as a country to live in because it is quite safe. That's something that I really appreciate with Norway and in some time I think I would have about to move to either Paris or London but I don't know if the right time will come soon. So at some point, yes, but not now. And the next question is, how do you save up for all the shopping? Honestly, I have a savings account. I save money each month to my shopping. And for example, for quota bags, I have a different account for that specific bag that has the name of the bag that I'm going to buy. So I save up some money each month and yeah. So that's basically what I do. I think I am the most boring 23 years old when it comes to going out and drinking and everything like that. I'm not that kind of person anymore. I was out and about when I was 18 years old because that's the age that you can drink in Norway. So when I turned 18, I was going out a lot and I think I became more boring when I met my boyfriend <laughs> because then I stop to go out so i'm not using any money on that and also i have told you guys before that trondheim isn't a going out city you don't go out and eat dinner normally so we cook home and i think we save a little bit money on that we also save for different things not just luxury shopping and while we are talking about economy i'm going to the next question and it is do you come from a rich family no not at all <laughs> um all the things that i 
have and own are things that I have worked for myself. I started at a young age working, so none of the items that I have is from my family. Actually, I don't have any contact with my family, so I don't get any money from them at all, even though if they had been rich. But I do not come from a rich family. And yeah, all things that I have is because of myself and I'm very proud of that. So that's that. And the next question is next bag on your wish list, summer holidays in program. So the next bag that I have on my wish list, I have talked about it so many times and it is a mini Kelly. It is the bag that I want the most. I don't care about the color, but I want <laughs> really bad a mini Kelly. And for the summer and holidays, I don't have any plans yet. Um, I don't know what the future will bring because it is a lot of things happening. And I'm going to reveal it finally on Sunday. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because it is going to be a very big announcement. And I cannot wait to share it with you guys. And I finally can share it. It has been the hardest thing to keep from you guys. I have only shared it to my closest, closest friends. So... There isn't a lot of people that knows what's happening. But on Sunday you guys will finally get an answer what it is. So I'm very excited to tell you guys. <laughs> what are the items, categories you're not into at Hermes? Uh, so the things that I'm not into when it comes to Hermes is mainly uh, custom jewelry. And the reason for that is because I don't think it is worth it. And I also think it isn't my style. I have two exceptions here. And that's the... H pop earrings that I have and also the air cuff. Other than that it isn't something that I find to be very appealing to me and also something that I also told you guys before is that I'm not that into silk because I don't use it. Um, I have bought a silk scarf but I'm not planning to buy a lot of them. Maybe one more but I'm not very interested in silks um, and twillies <laughs> even though I have many twillies. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't use them and I think that's it. It is the first things that pops up in my mind when it comes to this question. If you ask me tomorrow I will probably have something more but it is the things that I feel I'm not very interested in. So the next question is next travel destinations besides Oslo. Um, I don't know. I really want to travel. I really enjoy traveling but at this point I don't know. <laughs> I really would like to visit London again because it is a very great city and I also would love to visit Paris again. Maybe New York, maybe LA. I really want to travel and I love exploring new travel destinations but I don't think it is going to happen anytime soon because of the changes in my life <laughs> but yeah and here is another question about how I am able to buy so many expensive things at such a young age and I feel that I kind of told you guys in the last question about this and it is that I started working at a young age and also I think my mentality when it comes to working for things because when I grew up I felt how it feels on your body when you don't have enough to buy things that you really want and I think that feeling drives me to work even harder and that's a mentality that I took with me both in school but also now when it comes to jobs. I have a very high moral when it comes to work and working for yourself and do the best that you can and even more. <laughs> I have very high expectations to myself. I know that it isn't the greatest thing to have but in my mind it isn't a plan B. I always have a plan A and nothing more than that is acceptable. <laughs> I think that's the answer. And if you want something very hard, work even harder for it. And then it will happen. If you could do a H special order, what would it be? Oh my god, this is a question that I have asked myself since January when the colors came out. So when it comes to a special order, I think I would either go for a mini Kelly or a Birkin 25. I would love to get a special order in exotics, mainly croc, but also ostrich. I'm open to that. Uh, for the colors, I'm not sure about it. I change my opinion every single second, but I would love something in a neutral color in croc with first gold hardware or something very colorful. I don't know. 
Um, and when it comes to normal leathers, I think I would have gone for Epson because I really like Epson and I think it is a great leather. And for that, I think I would have gone for more neutral colors because as you know, I really love neutrals. I would possibly have done a Verso Kelly or Birkin where the color on the outside and the color on the interior is different. I don't think I would have gone crazy with it because I really like to have something in my collection that I would keep forever and if I would go crazy on it I think I wouldn't have liked it that much. I wouldn't do anything colorful on the stitching and also I would like the outside to be in the same color. I wouldn't have liked it to be in two-tone. So that's my special order. And the next question is, what is your favorite clothing brand? And I think my favorite clothing brand is Loewe at this point. But I also really like Fendi ready to wear. And I also like Chanel. But I think I like Loewe the most. Do you only hang with people in the same luxury network as you? Um, when I first started posting and doing Instagram, I didn't have a luxury network. The network that I have now is people that I have gotten to know on the way. So I'm very open to meet new people and expand my network. And I also have some friends that are not into luxury at all. So no, I'm not hanging with only people in my luxury network. But the thing about me, I'm not normally the person who initiates meeting and conversations. I'm very bad at that, but I really love getting messages from all of you guys. It is something that enlightens my day. So the next question is top three on wish list. Um, I think number one is my mini Kelly and I think number two is either a new Kelly, maybe a Kelly 25 and number three on my wish list is I don't know, maybe a Birkin, maybe a Chanel flat bag with top handle in green. I don't know. It is very hard to choose between because I want so many things and yeah. <laughs> so the next question, what would you advise for a first designer bag under 1500 euros? So I think my advice would be to go for either Pollen or Loewe. I think these are very great brands to get bags from, but I suggest you to go for something more classic and not trendy. So for Pollen, I think the Sime, I think it is called, it is a tote bag. I think that's a very great bag, I don't have it myself, but it is a bag that I'm considering buying myself. And for Loewe, I think I would have gotten the Flamenco bag, it is a great bag that have many ways to wear it and also you can wear it both daytime and also in the evenings. It is not a big bag so if you have a lot to carry I think I would have gotten the plan over this one but I think that's the bags that I would have suggested you to go for. If you had to limit yourself to only five bags which ones would you choose? So this is very impossible. I think I would have gotten a black Birkin 30 because it is more versatile than, for example, my Baton Birkin. Um, so I think that would be one. And I think I would have gotten a Mini Kelly um, and my Bobby bag. Either a Chanel Classic Flap or Flap Bag with Top Handle from Chanel. And the last one, I think it would have been a tote of some kind. I think it would have been the Celine tote that I have talked about before. So I think that would be the five bags that I would have had if I had to choose. What is your favorite country? I don't know. <laughs> it is very hard to choose because I really love France. It may seem controversial, but I also like the US and also Great Britain. So it's very hard to choose. But I think it would have been France or Italy. I don't know. <laughs> it is very hard to choose. So the next question is, I'd love to hear about how you take care of your hair. Because it always looks so lovely. It is always so shiny and smooth. I'm hoping it's not genetics. So first of all, thank you so much. Um, hair is something that I have struggled with a lot when I was younger. And it wasn't until I changed my hairdresser 
that I got better hair. So the things that really helped my hair was the hair care. So the only two brands that I used for hair care is Kevin Murphy and Aveda. Aveda was the brand that I started using and after a while I started using Kevin Murphy with Aveda. So after I started using that I got longer and healthier hair. Um, but before that I had very short hair and when I was younger I also struggled a lot with my hair looking damaged because this is actually a fun fact about me is that I was a swimmer when I was younger so therefore I showered my hair every day. It took a lot of time to get my hair to recover from that and now I only shower my hair once or maximum twice a week. It sounds a little bit nasty but it truly helps with the hair, especially if you have oily hair like me. And the next question is, I'm so curious what your fave skincare makeup products are. Your skin always looks so glowy and I adore your eyebrows. So <laughs> thank you so much. I think my favorite makeup brand is at the time Charlotte Tilbury. And it isn't something that we can get here in Norway. So I have to buy a lot when I'm abroad. <laughs> and for skincare, now I only use Dior Beauty. Mostly Dior Prestige. On my last vlog I did a nighttime skincare routine. So I will leave both my favorite beauty products and skincare products below. So you can check out them as well if you want to. Fave luxury item that are not mainstream, popular on IG and YouTube. This is a very hard one um, because I have so many favorite products but some of them are popular to a certain point. Um, but I think it would probably be my either my Brida Brack or my Ulus Notebook from Hermes. I don't know if they are that popular on IG and YouTube but it is something that I use every day. Favorite or mess bag? I think it would be a Birkin 25 or 30 in Himalaya. I think that's my favorite or mess bag uh, with diamonds. <laughs> it's crazy expensive and it is crazy hard to get, but I think that's my all time favorite bag. And yeah, next question is How long have you two been dating? Does he share the love for luxury like you? So we have been dating for over four years. So it's quite some time. And also a very funny thing about my boyfriend is that he really loves luxury. He really likes to have an opinion about all of my bags and all of the things that I buy for myself. He is very excited about if I buy a new shirt or if I buy a new bag or a new SLG. He is so happy and I think it almost feels like he have gotten it because <laughs> sometimes he is more happy when I got new things than when he does. So he is very excited and very into luxury. And I think that was one of the things that we instantly matched with when we started dating. And yeah, he comes gladly with me when I'm going shopping. And actually he is the one that used a lot of time. Normally it is the other way, but here it is me getting tired. You often see me while we are shopping in a chair and just thinking, can you be done? So in our relationship, I'm the person who is tired when it comes to shopping at some point. And before I got together with him, I didn't think that anyone could beat me when it comes to shopping and Certainly I was wrong because he is a whole new level when it comes to shopping. He really likes to take a time for each and every single piece in the store. So I'm often tired when we are going shopping. And yeah, that was it for this Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I also hope that you guys feel that you got to know me a little bit more. And I think this is something that I'm going to do on a more regular basis because there are some questions that I haven't gotten to answer yet because then the video would be way too long. So this is something that I am hoping to do more regularly. And I would also remind you guys to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because on Sunday it is going to be some very big news and also leave your guesses in the comments i'm very curious to hear what you guys think is going to happen leave your guesses in the comments 
And thank you so much for watching. If you're not done watching me yet, here is another video and goodbye.